Hello friends welcome to Institute of Banking Excellence. Today we are going to talk about Digital Banking Part 1. Before starting the video if you like it please press the like button, share and subscribe it with your friends. Without wasting much time let's get started. Evolution of Computer and Banking The evolution of computers started way back in the late 1930s. Binary arithmetic is at the core of the computers of all times. The evolution of computers started with standalone computers and slowly progressed through various stages. Standalone computers, standalone computers meant only one person is working on a computer and his working is known to nobody else. Multi-user computer system, under this system several people can work at the same time. The system worked on centralized processing concept. Evolution of computer technology can be divided into five generations. First generation computer consisted of vacuum tubes and they were used from 1943 to 1958. ENIAC, Electronic Numerical Integrator and Calculator, computer is an example of first generation computer. Second generation, 1959 to 1965, computer consisted of transistors that is vacuum tubes were replaced by transistors. Thus the size of the computer got reduced considerably. Third generation. 1966 to 1973, computer consisted of integrated circuits, IC, that is many transistors and single silicon chip. A single IC has many transistors, registers and capacitors built on a single thin slice of silicon. With the invention of microprocessor, 1971, fourth generation of computer evolution started and present day computers are also categorized in the fourth generation. The fifth generation computers are under development. They are going to be based on principles of artificial intelligence and natural language recognition. Developers are aiming at computers capable of organizing themselves. The evolution of computer continues. Computer can be termed as an electronic device which is used to store and process information. Types of computer 1. Desktop computers the normal computers that you run at your home are desktop computer. It is made up component like monitor, a keyboard, mouse, system unit, printer, camera etc. 2. Laptop computers, are lightweight and condensed forms of desktop computer. It is smaller in size consisting in its small frame all features of a desktop computer. Laptop computer can run on battery whereas desktop computers run mainly on electricity. Three. Handheld computers, these are smaller than laptop and provide less features than laptops. However basic activities like word processing, internet access can be accessed on handheld computers. 4. Tablet computers, are fully functional computers in which tablet pen is used instead of mouse and keyboard. 5. Tablet, a new type of computer which allows you to perform functions of a phone and a tablet. They are generally bigger than your mobile and little smaller in size than your tablet. Easy to hold and perform computer functions. Components of computer. Hardware. A computer is made of different parts and these parts can be divided mainly into three categories. Input devices. It is any hardware device that sends data to a computer, allowing you to interact with and control it. Mouse. Left button in mouse is used to select items and provide instructions by clicking an active area on the screen. Right button is used to display commonly used menu items on the screen. Keyboard, is similar to typewriter keyboard and is used input, by typing text, which includes numbers, figures, alphabets, into computer system. Microphone, microphone is used to talk to people in different parts of the world. Scanner. If you have got an image, print and you want exact copy of it, you have to use scanner. This produces and records an image just like a photocopy into computer. Webcam, it is used to capture the images, just like a camera, it can make your movie or take photograph and store it in computer. Output devices, the desired result of is given to us by computers through output devices. The main output devices are Monitor it is an output device, whereby we get to see on screen the result of what we have fed into the computer system. Printer, 
It is attached to computer through node as an output device to get the prints from computer. Speaker slash headphone, devices that allow you to hear sounds. Speakers may either be external or built into the computer. Sometimes you might have seen microphones along with headphones. Storage devices, used to store the information, data. Storage devices are of different forms and different shapes. Some of them are. Hard disk is usually inside the computer and main storage device for any computer. However a hard disk can be internal or external. Floppy disk due to certain weaknesses has already been replaced by advanced storage devices like CD, DVD and pen drives etc. CD and DVD storage devices are very popular and known by name. These are read-only memory devices. Pen drive is just like hard drive. There are various processes going on in computer with the help of following devices. 1. CPU or central processing unit is the control unit of the computer. It is also referred to as processor. It interprets and runs the commands that you give to the computer. 2. Memory, just like any other memory, the computer memory is where information is stored. The CPU retrieves the information from memory. 3. Motherboard, motherboard is the main circuit board inside the computer. Motherboard connects input, output, and processing devices together and instructs the CPU how to run. The main components on the motherboard include the video card, the sound card etc. 4. Expansion cards, like video card, network interface card, sound card etc. Network interface card. 5. Sound card helps in converting voice from microphone, audio files and other sources to digital signals and then storing in computer as audio file. So when played the sound is again generated by reconversion. Software, it is program that enables you to communicate with computer and give out results. Software can be mainly divided into two types that is operating system software and application software. Operating system software The operating system provides a user interface which enables us to communicate with computer. Most operating systems provide a graphical user interface, GUI, which displays images and pictures that allow you to interact with a computer easily. Operating system software 1, controls the computer components, and 2, helps you to communicate with the computer. Application software, for performing your functions on a computer, platform now you need to have application software. Applications software is also called program. RAM, a form of data storage that can be accessed randomly at any time, in any order and from any location. It stands for random access memory. It is used to read data quickly to run applications. It allows reading and writing. It is a volatile memory that is contents in the memory are lost when the device is powered off. There are two types of RAM. Static RAM and Dynamic RAM. ROM, it a form of data storage that cannot be easily altered or reprogrammed. It stands for read-only memory. It is used to store a program required to initially boot the computer. It only allows reading. It is a non-volatile type of memory that is contents and it are not lost when the device is power off. There are three types of ROM. Programmable read-only memory, PROM. Erasable programmable read-only memory, EPROM, and Electrically erasable programmable read-only memory, EPROM. Types of networks. Local area network, the computers within a given area, say a building are interconnected to each other through a network which is called local area network. Each individual computer is called node. Usually there is one central node called server which connects and controls other nodes, computers. Wide area network, it's a large scale network, connecting computers over a very sizable geographical area. It uses telecommunication network for interconnection of terminals, nodes attached to this network. In banks, the branches, Regional offices and head offices are interconnected to each other through WAN system. Metropolitan Area Network, it is in between LAN and WAN. The systems within a city are interconnected under MAN. Communication, communication can be done in various ways. Some of them are as under. Microwave link, 
the signals in one microwave station are passed through dish antenna to another receiving dish antenna. The receiving dish antenna boosts and passes it to another dish antenna lying in its range which is usually not more than 25 kilometers. Satellite telecommunication, data of any type, voice, video, text, and data at one workstation is converted into radio waves and beamed up over a broadband transmission channel to a satellite. The satellite relays back the data to another earth station or an antenna lying on top of a building at receiving location across the country or world. Telephone lines, two computers connected through a telephone cable needs modem at each end. These modems convert digital signals into analog system and vice versa. This is it for this video. Thank you so much for your love and support. Stay tuned for the next one. Till then bye and stay blessed.